In this video, I will be talking about the mini scheme that I'm planning on running a lot, especially when I'm up in games and I just want to finish the game nice and easy, nice and quickly. I will be talking about single back twos close. If you guys were playing Madden back in Madden 15, you guys understand how good this formation was back then. The last couple of years, it wasn't really that great. This year, I think because of some nice qualities that it has, I think it is coming back and I think that it is a great formation to use if you want to be an effective passer because it kind of sets up the pass game really easily because of its amazing run game. If you're enjoying this type of content, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. It would help me out so much. Let's get into it now. I am currently in the Indianapolis Colts playbook because I am running Gun Bunch Offset and I'm also running Bunch Y Flex. Those two are in this playbook and they're really great. Also, this has Deuce Close. Now, it's not the best Deuce Close in the game. There are some other playbooks that are better for it. I'm not the biggest Deuce Close fan myself. That's why I don't need every single play. I just need the few that I think work best. And then we can go from there. So when we look at this Deuce Close set, it only has nine plays. Now, that's not that great, but it has the two most important plays, in my opinion. It has Halfback Stretch and Halfback Wham. Those two are the plays that make this formation work. Now, if we just come out in, let's just set one of the audibles. Uh, this Let's just put Halfback Wham in there. Cool. Very, very cool. And I'll come in and have back stretch. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to come out, my bad. I'm going to come out in this 3 through 5 wide. Let's just come out in 3 sample blitz. Okay. So, the nice and easy thing about this is you can flip the play without it counting towards your false start thing. If you flip the play too many times, if you are audible too many times, you'll false start. You can just do this. Just flick the right stick and it'll flip the stretch for you. There you go. Just like that. I'm going to snap this ball, and you have to understand what these each of these runs are for. Halfback Wham is obviously up the middle, and because of that, it doesn't have the big play potential, but you're also not going to lose that many yards on it. Halfback Stretch, there's a good possibility that you can just get blown up just like this, and you lose a couple of yards. You just That's not an issue if you know that that can happen and you know when to use it. However, if we go to this Halfback Wham, you will see the motion does take quite a while, and it's a pretty dead giveaway. But it's consistent yards. I can run this a lot and I will get yards consistently on it. That's the beautiful thing about this halfback wham. Just audible to it and then uh, the D tackle just sh sheds me. He just sheds me. Maybe if we flip this and now halfback wham is to the left. And we can snap this ball and you can see it's three yards in the cloud of dust. That's what this run is for. And both of these runs work beautiful, beautifully in that they complement each other, you know. You can get the stretch if you want to have the big play but potential. Let's just say I want to really risk it and I want to see if I can get yards. This time, I lost. So next time, maybe. Okay, I'll come up to the line of scrimmage. Okay, I don't like the look. That just blew my stretch up. So I'm just going to run this. Try to get some yards up the middle. Three yards and a cloud of dust. That's what this run is going to do for you. That's not about running the ball, in my opinion. Even though running the ball is the most important thing in this formation, I still believe that we need some pass plays to go along with it. And I want to start off by running bench. Bench is such a nice play for one reason and one reason only, pretty much, I'm going to call it. And on defense, I'm going to come out and cover three bus. So, what do we have here? We have double corner routes on both sides. And we have some good blocking. If we max protect, that is eight people in protection. And then what we can do is we can put both of these guys in the lay on the lay fades, both those tight ends. Actually, it doesn't show. Trust me, they're on the lay fades. I will snap this ball. And then I can try to roll out whichever way I want to and then throw a spawn. Now, this is, of course, made easier if I have skate parties. But all you want to do, you want to max protect, you want to put these guys on delay fades. You can even double team this guy right here and then slide that way. And then, okay, I can see that I can roll out to the left and then we're going to throw a spawn. Also, I'm also going to do this uh, one time rolling to the right. Just so you guys know that this does work both ways. I'm going to double team right here. And you will see how I can seal that edge. And now I can throw this ball in there very, very easily. Also, if I see that the zone is kind of covering it, then I can just do... Oh my god. That was actually pretty bad. I gotta wait a little bit longer. Yeah, that's actually good that I just made, made that mistake right there. Wait a little bit longer until they really engage and then... Oh my god. I'm getting blown up. Can we, can we like block one time, you guys? Can we do that? Let's try this again. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. 
I can roll. Okay, it's not there. I'm just gonna scramble and take my easy ass. That's the beautiful thing about the rollout corner. If it's not there and there's no spy, you can take off. And if they spy somebody, then they're of course a little bit weaker to the run. I can just then snap this ball and get a couple of yards. If I have a fast running back, that's some more yards, but there, Chris Carson is not that fast. There, of course, are some other things that you can do with this bench play. I like to go just double drag sometimes with my tight end. That's it's that simple. Gonna snap this ball. Okay, X is open. I'm gonna throw it to him. Easiest thing in the world. I'm just putting out the blueprint to you guys. You can, of course, freestyle. If you want, you can also go double streaks. And whichever one the user does not choose, you throw that. That's also a possibility. I just think the main chance of this play working for you is if you max protect and then just simply throw the roller corner. If you can get to outside of the pocket, if you can double team like I told you, uh, I should really double team. Let's try that again. I want to want to get this off one last time. Okay. Didn't roll out, but you guys see it's open. Guys, it's it's open. Moving along, another beautiful play is on that same screen uh, as the bench play. PX post cross. Let's call it. Let's press triangle. Once again, gonna I'm gonna come in three Sam Will Blitz here. Why not? Why the heck not? And the only thing you want to do for this is you want to put both of your tight ends on delay fades. And you're gonna snap this ball. You can cancel the play action if you want to, if you feel more comfortable doing that. The crossing route is open. The running back is also going to the flat, so you have a nice uh, flood concept there. Gonna do the same thing again. You can see two delay fades. Nice, nice, nice. R1 is open. I can just check it down. And of course, you can just uh, release one of the delay fades. Cancel this. Okay, cool. Triangle. And I'm gonna just throw it to the delay fade. It's the easiest thing in the world, you guys. Beautiful that way. The only thing that's not beautiful is that this post route is not that great against cover three. If we were to run this against cover two, this would, of course, be a whole different story. I would just cancel a play action right there and then I can throw that up the middle. Now that of course looks pretty tight uh, because the zones were all in the middle. If the deep zones are further apart, this of course becomes easier. In a real game, I wouldn't throw that. That was a little bit too close for my liking. I'm just here to show you that this is there and you can use it. Also speaking of cover two, this bench play is really good against it. That's the main concept of bench. You want to look at what the outside flat is doing and in this case it's kind of uh, going to the out route so I can throw that corner. If I have set feed lead or gunslinger, that's an even easier throw. One more time, gonna throw this bench against the Tampa 2. And it's nothing easier than just saying, okay, I'm gonna check it down to the out route, get a couple of yards. This also adds up. You're gonna force your opponent to think. And whenever you can get five yards just like that, I think that's a great way of moving the ball. The last play that I wanna go over is this PA boot slide. So I'm gonna call this. Uh, we're gonna come out and cover three once again and then I'll talk about cover two which not a lot of people are running cover two but this is a cover two killer what you do for this is you streak the tight end that is on the side of the corner out. you want to put this lead on ADLA delay fade and lock it I really I really hate this crossing out you oh my god I just accidentally snapped the ball didn't mean to do that but yeah you can throw that that because zones are so terrible that also works against cover three uh, but as I was saying, uh, what I would do is I would just put Lockett on this in route. You can keep the play action, you can cancel, you can also block the running back that cancels it before the play even starts. Uh, and you can throw that with the pass lead to the sideline. Very, very easy. There's not much more that I need to explain about this play. I'll just call it one time against cover two, just so you guys know that I'm not lying to you. This actually does work. Can we... Okay, my bad, my bad, I'm, I'm pressing the wrong button. But I'm gonna snap this ball, very cool, just get the protection, get the time. And this is a nice cover two beater. Now again, not a lot of people are running cover two, but if they are, you got this play and it'll burn them. That, so that's the end of the video. Just one final thing that I wanna hit on, please make sure to run the ball out of this. That's the main asset of this formation. It's just a combination of the halfback wham and the halfback stretch. It's so beautiful, look at this. They're right next to each other, please use them. That is going to force your opponent to pay attention to the run. And this will make passing the ball all that much easier. Now, with that being said, I'm out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. There are, of course, better pl uh, playbooks to run this out of. For example, the Seattle Seahawks has a good... Uh, has a good... Uh, why can't I remember? Single back to his close. Uh, some other playbooks that also have a bunch of offset, I think. The Panthers has a pretty decent... Uh, do close. If you want to go more that route, you can. I'll maybe do a follow-up video on this with some other setups of the other players that are in these other playbooks. 
I'll try to. I'll try to remember. If I don't, then just let me know in the comments and I'll do it. Uh, but yeah, I think this is an amazing formation. You should run it a lot more than it's being run right now. It is a beautiful combination to the best heavy gun bunch offset. It is nice run heavy. I like this. Uh, yeah, I'm done here. Let's let's go uh, next time tomorrow. I'll do some more stuff like this. Also, if you want to see more mod tips, then let me know that in the comments below. Yeah, goodbye. Appreciate you watching until now.